Uh, thank you, uh, Count Kjorl, and thank you, Minister. And like previous speakers, I want to welcome the 96.6 billion budget. And you know, I think a lot of um, I've had a lot of phone calls from people in my own area of Carlow today. And I think for me, the hot meals to to be expanded to over um, 900 more primary schools is really important. And of course, the free book scheme to be extended now to going in up to secondary school, up to junior cert, it's really important. And of course, the, that's the textbooks and the workbooks. You know, these are all things that I believe affect every family and it's, it's really welcome. Again, I know previous speakers have spoke about the energy credit. It's going to be paid in uh, three installments of 150. Um, you know, a long, another long promised pay related benefit scheme for people becoming unemployed has met it into the, this year's budget announcement. That's really welcome. Uh, there will be the rise of 12 euro on welfare and pension payments from January. I also want to welcome the one off 400 payment for people on working. Uh, family payment and those receiving carers allowance and disability allowance, blind persons and invalidity. I do have concerns. I'm on the disability committee and I do believe that we could have done more in the budget for that. I'm, I, I really have uh, you know, concerns about you know, maybe we need to look at putting more funding in that area. I also welcome the lump sum payment of 300 on the fuel allowance and 200 for those living alone which will come before Christmas. So we really have, I think, and you know, have done a lot of good work in the budget and now I'm going to bring in my concerns, Minister, um, and I've spoken to Minister Fleming on them too. I would have got a few phone calls today in my own constituency of Carlow because I know everyone knows that. I had a lady ring me only this morning where her own uh, uh, child is um, 18 and this week actually, would you believe it, today her child was 18 in Leave Insert. And my understanding is now she will not get that payment because the child is in Leave Insert this year, where it only starts for ne next September. And I, I just think that the child benefit is so important, particularly for school going children. And I'm just wondering, there can't be a huge amount um, of children of that age, you know, going to secondary school. I'm wondering, could that be looked at for this year? And then, of course, I welcome it for next year. Um, I also want to ask about the, and this is something that is very close to my own heart, and I'm wondering about the payment scheme for the mother and baby homes. When is that to be started? And Minister, I know you're going to take a note on these and come back to me on them because, you know, like I've spoken to a lot of the people that were in the mother and baby homes and like a lot of them are gone older. And I mean, they're getting to an age, Minister, that we need to make out that payment that they are entitled to. And we need to do that as soon as possible. So I'm wondering, would you come back to me on that? Um, I spoke to a lot of businesses again today in Carlow and uh, 250 million in support for small businesses to, to meet the challenges of um, inflation has been a really, really positive thing for me. The other um, thing that I spoke about, and I, I want to welcome our increase in the minimum wage. It's gone up from 140 and now it's 1270. But Minister, this is bringing challenges. I spoke to two people today that are on the housing list in Carlow. And with this increase, because they both have part-time jobs and they at the moment will qualify to be on Carlow County Council housing list. If we don't do something to help next year, they will be taken off the housing list because now they are gone over it. So what I'm saying is, while I welcome uh, this 12.70 for a minimum wage, but we need to look at the knock-on effect if it affects someone that is on Carlow County Council's local authority housing list, like I'm sure many others, um, and they are going to be barely over. And you know yourself, once something is given for, from the government to qualify for your local authority housing list, whether it's single, 27 and a half, family over 30, there's no, there's no leniency there, no leniency whatsoever. So I would ask now, um, Minister, that that would be addressed. Um, the other thing I want to ask you about is the foster care. Uh, the foster care's payment, I had a lot of phone calls about that. Minister, that's not being paid till late next year. And again, I've spoken to so many foster care. Uh, I know a lot of the foster carers, myself personally, they're doing a marvellous job. They're not in it for the money, but it's just the cost of inflation. And I'm just wondering, can that be looked at? Rural transport, Carlo, a big issue for me. I hope that our capital plans are going on track. And this is another thing I just want to ask you about. We're very lucky, we have a great local authority in Carlow County Council. But this morning I got word that we're losing our housing um, officer and he's the homeless housing officer. 
So we now have a situation because we have no full-time, we are going to have no full-time housing homeless officer in Carroll County Council. Now the good news for you is John and Malcolm is he's going to Kilkenny because there's a full-time job there, but we have no full-time job in Carlow. Thank so you, Deputy. We, so I'm just saying, we need to look at these things. We cannot lose someone like that that is so important to us in these areas. Again, I do believe it's a budget that has a lot of thought has gone into it. There's a lot of good things Thank in you. it, but there's just those concerns that I, I wanted to talk about. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Deputy. Now